Hi my foodie friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make Rava Appam or we can say Rava Appe. So let's get started and see the recipe. First, we're going to start by making the batter. Take semolina or sooty, one cup in a big mixing bowl. Now add the whisk curd, half, half cup to it and stir until mixed well. Now add the half cup of water. and mix well everything together. Now keep the batter aside for 20 minutes to rest or uh, fragmentation because we are going to use it later to make up pumps. Now move on to the next step. Now I have taken a pan and I have added oil 2 tablespoon. Now add mustard seeds half teaspoon. Now add few curry leaves as per your taste. The flavor comes from curry leaves is really good and I love them to add in my all the all the curries. Now add the chopped onions, one by third cup to it and mix well. So the onion is cooked. Now I'm going to add chopped capsicum, one by third cup to it. Now add chopped carrot, one by third cup to it. Chopped green chilies. I've chopped two uh, green chilies. It's completely on your taste. So you can add more, or you can add less up to you how spicy you want to eat and mix well and cook for few minutes now add the salt half teaspoon and again mix well Now sprinkle some chopped coriander leaves on it and uh, we will put this aside for cool down. Now 20 minutes are up and you can see the batter is really very well rested and fragmented. Now to the batter, we are going to add all cooked veggies to it as it's already cooled down. So mix everything really well. Now I'm going to add little bit salt to it. Now add soda, half teaspoon and mix it again. If the batter appears too thick, then you can add some water to it. But for me, I think it's good to go. Move on to the next step. Now I have the upper maker and I have already preheated and brushed it with little uh, bit oil in its each mold. Now fill each uh, mold with the batter we made. I'm so quick 
<laughs> and cover this for 3 minutes to cook. After 3 minutes, let's check out on these. Once you see the little brown edging on the side, that means this side is done. Now over this, I'm just going to brush it with little oil before I flip them over. Let's flip them over one by one and continue cooking until golden brown from this side as well. It can take another two more minutes. This seems to be ready. So take them out on a plate. So I've made some stuff up also with the rest of the batter. So first brush with little oil in it each mold again. Now pour some batter in first mold. And add some masala potato stuffing which I have made for some other recipe so I had this extra and I thought that I can use masala potato with the appam so after this again pour some appam batter on it to cover it see now repeat the same step for the rest of the molds and the batter Now cover this and let it cook on low heat for 3 minutes to get golden brown color beneath. After 3 minutes, I'm going to brush it with a little oil before I flip them over. now flip them over one by one and continue cooking until golden brown from this side as well it can take another two minutes these seems to be done so take them out in a plate They are so healthy and um, you can have it in breakfast and uh, snacks or anytime. It's so healthy recipe. Rama appam or suji appams are ready. You can serve this with green coriander chutney, sweet chutney, tomato sauce or any other chutney as per your desire and taste. It looks so yummy. Happy eating! Now that you know the recipe of instant rava appam or we can say appe, so you don't have to worry about what to make in breakfast or lunch box for kids. So friends, if you like this recipe, Please like my video, show your comments in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's me Nancy Vama. Bye bye and see you next time.